Hi there folks, Andrew here at ChatFuel. Today I am super excited to tell you all about the brand new and improved Acquire Users from Comments feature 2.0. This feature is super valuable because it simplifies the whole double opt-in process. If you've used this tool before, you know that anybody who comments on your Facebook page post, the bot can respond to them in Messenger, and then once they respond, it can send them to a block. Now this feature works in the same way, but in that stage of the double opt-in where the user has to respond to that message to be counted as a subscriber, you can now send them to a block regardless of how they respond. So this simplifies the whole process. You don't need to set up any AI keywords. No matter how they respond, it's gonna send them where they need to go. So all of that being said, let's dive in and show you exactly how this new plugin works. First, let's head over to my Facebook page. I've already created a page post where we're going to track the comments on. And so I'm going to get the URL of this by clicking the timestamp here. And in the URL, I'm going to copy everything before the question mark, before the extra URL parameters in that link. And just for context here in the post, we are asking users this question, black or blue. Let's say we're using this in an e-commerce use case where we need feedback on potential product ideas. So that's exactly what we're doing here. We're incentivizing people to comment. But it is really important to keep in mind whenever you're using this acquire users from comments feature that you don't promote engagement bait. This is this idea that Facebook has, which essentially means you are in some way incentivizing people or explicitly telling them to comment below with the goal of kind of rigging the Facebook algorithm to favor your post. So you don't want to do that. You just want to promote natural organic conversation, which is exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just asking them, hey, black or blue, I'm not saying comment below, but that's implicitly what users are going to think. And then of course, once users respond, we're going to send them a message through ChatFuel, but more on that in a second. One other important thing to keep in mind before we dive into the technical side of things back in ChatFuel is that when you're creating a post like this one that I created here, you wanna make sure that you disable this get messages call to action here. When I was originally creating my post, Facebook enabled this automatically and I wouldn't advise it. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but I feel like it can create too many call to actions in a single post and distract the user. So for example, if we're asking them to choose a color and implicitly comment that below, and we have this send message button here, that can be problematic. Users might not know what to do, they might have too many options, and they just might shut down and disengage with the post altogether. Additionally, if they click this send message call to action button right here, it's not going to send them through the experience that we want by them commenting, the bot responding, and then them being counted as a subscriber and getting that relevant block information. So keep those two things in mind, no engagement bait, and it's probably best to disable this get messages feature right here. Anyway, now that we have the link, let's head back into ChatFuel in the grow tab and create a rule for acquire users from comments. Once we're here, we can name the rules. So in this case, let's say in that post, I'm asking users to choose whether they prefer the black color or the blue color shirt. And so here, I wanna specifically respond to people who comment black on that post, let's say. So for the rule name here, I'll just call this black color. For apply rule two, these first two steps are really the exact same as the previous version of this acquire users from comments plugin. So no changes there. I'm going to respond and track comments on just this specific post, not all posts on my page. I'm going to paste in the URL to that post as you would do previously. And then for how the bot will reply, I'm going to, in this case, as I mentioned, respond to only comments matching specific keywords. So again, I want to respond and segment users who choose the black color versus the blue color. If I just wanted to track anybody who commented, obviously I would choose to all comments. And then for the keywords that we expect them to type in, 
I'll just type in black because we've used that in our question and honestly I don't really know how many other ways somebody could say that or comment that response. Maybe for blue there's other colors or other ways of people saying that but I think our question is pretty well set up to prompt the users to respond in this way so I'm not going to include any other variations. Okay, and then finally, this is where things change compared to the previous plugin for acquire users from comments. Here, we're going to respond with a private message, and this is now exciting because we can use the user's first name in this initial opt in message before they actually become a subscriber. So it adds a layer of personalization here. And basically, in this first message, Again, no matter what they respond to this message, although they still do have to respond to be double opted in and receive this block, it'll send them to the block of our choice. So we're gonna say, hey, first name, and let's say something like, would you like to receive 10% off the black tea? right so we can have this obviously no matter how users respond they could say yes sure of course they could send a blue thumbs up button no matter what they send we're gonna send them to that block and again this simplifies everything no more need to set up all these AI rules that are context dependent on posts everything's managed here for you you just need to set up this initial message and send them to the relevant block I'm going to check this send users who respond to a block checkbox obviously this is the key to all of this if we just set up that initial message it's not going to do anything we want to send them to this corresponding block so great all of this is now set up just as a very high level overview again users see this post in their newsfeed they comment on it once they comment the bot sends them this first message hey first name would you like to receive 10 percent off the black tea no matter how they respond the bot redirects them to this black color block okay so now let's just go in and finish up the experience by customizing this black color block and we could say something like your discount code is and maybe we say 10 off and then maybe we want to include a gallery card that shows an image of the product links it to our Shopify store we could also combine that button with our button actions feature which allows you to segment users who actually went to the Shopify store if you wanted to take it even a further level you could set up a zap and zapier that will match customers who convert on Shopify with chat fuel users so you could track if the person who saw this actually went through and purchased and if they didn't send up a follow-up message obviously I'm not going to get into all the weeds of that right now but the possibilities are really endless here again this whole goal with the new acquire users from comments feature is to simplify the double opt-in process get users to the blocks where they need to go with less friction so that's the version 2.0 of acquire users from comments really excited to learn how you all are using this if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments below and that being said good luck and happy botting.